Hey guys, Vaden Vic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this little beauty. It is the Arcus from Vape Only, vapeonly.com. Ch -ch 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 Check it out. Tiny, tiny little thing. It's from the guys that brought you the Aura and the Aura Mini. I don't know if you remember them. Um, it is an insanely small starter kit vape. Uh, for the new Vapor, I'm trying to think, what can I... This is an 18650 mech with a K-Fun on top. And this is the this is the Arcus. It's about the same length as an 18650 tube. Um, and way narrower as well. Um, crazy little thing. Crazy little thing that vapes like this. Um... It is a 1 ohm coil in here, it is a straight battery power, so starts off around 4 volts, works its way down to about 3.6 and then tells you to charge it. 600 ma battery in here, um, it's got adjustable airflow, which goes from a very very restricted lung hit like you just saw then, to a very genuine very genuine mouth to lung vape. Um, this is a potential first vape for uh, a new a smoker wanting to turn into a vapor um, or simply just get off smoking um, what we'll do is we'll go down low and I'll show you with this thing uh, up close I'll show you all about it um, then we'll come back up top I'll give you the pros and cons of this little Arcus starter kit and um, I've got one as well to give away so we'll give one away at the end as well um, so let's go down low. I'll show you this up close. We'll come back up top. Good times. Okay, guys, here we are up close with the Arcus from Vape Only. Here is the packaging. Very neat and tidy. Vape Only, blah, blah, and all that stuff. Taking off the top, we have a manual, tidy little manual here. All the things you need to... Do. If you are a smoker getting this for the first time and you've just tuned into this, do have a do have a browser that. Uh, vaping is a, a strangely, perversely complicated thing uh, uh, on, on the surface, you know, and you might find out some useful information in there. Um, so do have a peruse if you get a minute. Um, here is your mod and clearizer. We'll come back to that. You also get this box. It's got your charge cable in and a spare coil as well. Um, let's see if we can get to that. It's coming here. There we are. Okay, so here is the coil. Let's pop it out. Here is a coil. One ohm canthal coil. Uh, there are the wick holes there. That's what's feeding it. you got four little holes. Uh, your coil is in there. It's a sealed unit, so you can't really prime your coil properly. You're going to have to let it sit in the juice for a while um, before you can uh, vape it. Uh, but that's your coil head. Small little thing, um, but uh, serves a purpose for sure. So put that down there. Uh, so that's that. Put that back in here. Lid back on. And uh, I'll show you the mod. Okay, so here we go. Here is the mod. Um, take the clearizer off like this, and you can, if you really wanted to, put a different tank on there. If you have something else in mind, um, it goes. It lights up like that. It's telling me now that there's no mod attached, so it's not happy. That's why it's flashing. But if you give it five, it goes on and off. Um, little vent hole at the bottom. That's where you screw it on and your charge port there and it says vape only on the side there as well and that's the way you charge it. Um, this is the tank that it comes with, traditional style oh it's very tight, traditional style um, drip tip there nice and reduced and restricted as you'd expect um, but you can put a different drip tip in if you have one that you'd rather use, that is very tight anyway um, this tank also comes with top fill, so if you unscrew this bit here, this is how you can fill it up. What you do is, as long as you don't put it down that chimney, you're fine. You're just chucking it in the rest of it. I know it's a bit weird looking with this like hourglass thing inside, but you just chuck it in. 
any side of that uh, top chimney bit there and uh, you're golden it fits about two mil of juice um, so yeah so as long as you don't go over the top of that you are golden turning it the other way around you can see it's got um, a very very uh, inverted 510 pin um, so it's ideally suited for this really and nothing else um, but uh, certain things you probably get to work on but really it's not for that uh, if you unscrew this uh, this is the bottom piece and if you want to take the coil head out you literally just get your fingers there and pull that straight out and your coil head comes out there um, if you screw this back on you are back to good and uh, there's your adjustable airflow like that it's a restricted lung hit like that it's a nice smoking style mouth to lung vape um, really handy little natty thing you know might even be a little pub vape for me or something like that um, certainly fit nicely in a suit jacket or something like that you know so a nice little portable handy e-cigarette uh, we'll go back up top okay guys that was the Arcus up close quick reminder now is a great time to do your bit for advocacy and try to help save vaping if you're in America go to kasar.org there are loads of calls to action on there if you're in the UK check out right to vape.co.uk and vapors in power they are places that allow you to contact either your local member of parliament or a member of the House of Lords. Um, so you can go to those sites and express your opinions uh, towards the TPD. So go and do those things. Do, 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 do those things if you want to help save vaping. Okay, so the little Arcus. The little Arcus. Uh, we saw it up close there. Um, quite the piece. I think it's um, a really handy starter vape. Super pocket friendly, super small, uh, tiny little thing. Flavour's good, um, it mouth to lungs just like smoking, you know, simulates smoking, um, nice little tank in here, uh, and to all extensive purposes, vapes very nicely, it's also very safe, you know, you can charge it via USB, and um, it tells you when to charge it and all that stuff, tells you if there's a short or anything like that, um, so it's got all the safety without any complication, um, I think it's an excellent starter vape for a smoker, uh, in my personal opinion. Um, that being said, couple of slight negatives possibly, you saw it down low, it's got very small wick holes, you know, I know it's a low power device, etc, etc, but I think if it had just had slightly bigger wick holes, it would be able to handle higher viscosity juice, really, you, you know, you're pushing it if you get up to 70 VG in here, um, beyond that it will not wick quick enough in my opinion. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Maybe it could have slightly bigger wick holes as well. Also, you saw up close, it's a completely sealed coil head in there. Um, you can't see the top of the coil like you can on a lot of clearomizers. So what that means is you can't prime the coil. So um, you're going to have to put this in for the first time and just let it sit for quite a long time. Do some dry puffs without pressing the button like this just to get it wicking a bit quicker but you're gonna need to give this a good quarter of an hour 25 minutes um, to soak up because you can't really prime those coils I'm afraid um, so there are two things to bear in mind obviously something to bear in mind as well not a negative it just is what it is it's a super portable little thing but it is only 600 mars so you know you're not you, you probably wouldn't get an entire work day out of this if that makes sense um, that being said those things being said this in my eyes is a cracking starter vape um, my first vape was nowhere near as good as this um, it's cool looking I think it's good looking I think this would appeal to a smoker it's not ridiculous you know we do not go straight from smoking to this it we go to this don't we we try something small easy we feel a bit self-conscious when we first start vaping this is gonna prevent those things it's a trendy cool little thing pocket friendly um, and considering it's pocket friendly, considering it's you know it's a little bit like a cigarette and all that stuff, the flavour is very very solid, very solid. The vapor production is solid, um, and it does mouth to lung correctly in the correct style that smokers will want and it will appeal to. Um, vapes like this,
you just requested cloud shot there. Um, so yeah, so it just vapes normally, you know, it just vapes like it's a poster. It mouth to lungs if you close it down like it's a poster. Um, I think it's good. I think it's really good. Light, small, cool looking, fills up fine, top fill, positive, um, fairly priced, you know, go and do some Google food, find it in your area, but you'll see it is a very fairly priced bit of kit. Works flawlessly, no problems at all. Um, check it out. Maybe you've got a smoker in your life, check it out. Um, and get it, get it them, just buy it for them. Or win one. If you want to win one, you need to email uh, me. This is the Arcus from Vape Only. Uh, you need to email me, cd underscore vic, v1ck, at hotmail.com. Um, title of the email, Arcus. And uh, I want to know the answer to this question. Who makes the Arcus? Um, who makes it? I need your name and address in the email as well. So put all that in the email and you can win one. And I'll tell you who won it on the vlog, on the next vlog. Um, but uh, if you receive one in the post, you've won. If you haven't, you yinked. Um, so simple as that. I've been Vapen Vic and I'll see you again really soon.